welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in digital infrastructure. I'm Buffy Harakidis of JSA. And joining me today, we have Chris Cooper. He is the Director of Strategic Partnerships for Lantana LED. Chris, welcome. Thank you. How are you doing this afternoon? I'm doing very well, all Wonderful. the way from Texas here to Las Vegas. Yes. Uh, to talk about data center lighting. Data center lighting, yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah. yeah, light lighting in data centers, a lot of people think it's a very simple thing. Uh, one of the things we've been trying to promote this summer is, you know, LED lighting is is the trend. Every, everybody's using LED lighting, but not all, all LED lighting is the same. Uh, we have to always be very aware of what kind of temperatures we're working with inside the white space, inside the hot aisle containment areas. There is a difference between the lighting as we look at it from, from a Lantana perspective. And that's one of the things we're really trying to promote with people this year, is they really have to take a, a really strong look at their designs and, and really how they should lay out their, their building, their lighting. And then we also want to talk distributive low voltage, which is something a little bit different that's used in the data center market, uh, but it's a much safer thing to use. Well, talking about safety, uh, which is obviously critical to all of these data center designs and you know build outs across the world. How does your lighting support safer lookout and tag out procedures? Right, so with the distributive low voltage, you're dealing with a little bit lower voltage at the light fixture, that helps out. But with our panel system, we have a lockout tag out system to where they can kill the panel without having to get into it. We have a lockout tag out switch here. Once they switch the system off, they can lock it. And then everybody knows that that panel is dead so they can open it up and work on it, not having to go to the fixture to work on it directly. They can work on it here because the drivers, we put them in the cabinets off, off site per se, or out of the white space. So that allows them to safely work on drivers, that portion of the uh, system. All right. And it's not just the lights, obviously, that are important. You talked a little bit about the distributed low voltage becoming an important design choice for data centers. Why don't you dive into that a little bit more? Sure. Right now we have a, an inline AC system, which is historically the way it's been done. If you look at a low voltage distributive system, we're taking that power, moving in and out of that white space. We're taking the drivers and moving them out of the white space. What that does is it reduces the heat that the light fixtures are generating mm -hmm. in that system. And that allows them on the cooling side to be able to better monitor what's going on. There's a substantial difference of moving all that heat out of that. That's why we're seeing liquid cooling to the chips because they run so hot. Light fixtures generate heat, but if you take the driver, which generates the biggest part, and moving it to a different part of the building to where it doesn't affect the white space, it makes a substantial difference as far as that building's cooling and energy utilization. I mean, definitely the energy utilization is key uh, in today's world with so many different concerns about sustainability and being more efficient. Yeah, when it comes to the sustainability side of it, uh, everybody knows LED are cooler, but again, with taking that distributive, moving it to a different part, the other side of that is we always talk about our resources and everything. By being able to use distributive low voltage, the human resource comes into play because there's been recent situations where electricians were electrocuted on a project and, and killed because they were working on live fixtures. They shouldn't have been doing that. Should have been using lockout tag out or even a distributive system. It would help prevent that situation from occurring. Yeah, safety first, of course, first. always. Yes, yes ma'am. Well, Chris, thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. Uh, on JSA TV here from Yada 2025. And thank you viewers for tuning in to another episode of JSA TV. Stay curious, stay connected, and happy networking.